All right, hello, hello, and welcome to day number two of my five days of my top five fave products of 2020. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing my top five face products that are more focused on base face products. So like foundations, powders, all of those fun things. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm not at all filming this on the same day I filmed day number one and I just changed my t-shirt and tucked my hair behind my ears. Definitely a different day. <laughs> but anyways, that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. By the way, if you are kind of wondering why I'm splitting these up between five different days and uploading that way instead of one big giant video where I talk about all my favorites, it's because that's a lot of time to take out of your day for my favorites. That would probably be like a, at least a 40 minute video. And I know that all of us are kind of in a rush right now and doing a, a million different things. So I thought I'd break them up into these fun, quick little videos just so you can like, you know, have some quick coffee in the morning, you know, have a little sip of something, find out my favorites and then you can move on. So that is why I decided to do it the, this way this year. Let me know if you like that style and I'll do it and I'll do it again next year. And I do have my products that I'm already thinking about of the, the worst ones of this year that'll be next week. It's not gonna be five days of that though. The, two different videos, two different categories. You'll you'll see. My name is Ashley Ellix. If you are new to my channel, new to my face, and I would love it so much if you consider subscribing before you click away from another video. That way you see the rest of my favorites and all my other videos. But enough about all of that. If you're ready to dive in and find out what my top five favorite face products are of 2020, it's a tongue twister every time, then you're in the right place. And all you need to do now is you sit back, hang tight, keep on watching. Beep. Okay, so because we're talking about face base foundation style type of products, a little bit about my skin type is during the spring and summer months, I'm pretty normal, borderline dry on some days, but pretty, pretty normal, not oily, not too dry, just regular. But in the winter months and even the fall months, I'm dry, okay? Very dry, flake patches, like all of that really, really, really dry skin. So hopefully that helps you in navigating my favorites and stuff. If you have oily skin, some of these products might not work out so well. I don't know because I haven't tested them on oily skin, but for me, this is what works for my normal or dry from some parts of the year. So anyways, this product in particular that we're gonna start with has been a favorite of mine for years, but I decided this year, now that I found a good winter foundation, I've decided this one will go in my spring and summer foundation category. And I love it. It is full coverage and it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This foundation just looks so good on my skin. It just wears so incredibly well. It works great in those hot summer months too. And I just love it. So like I said, I've been using it for years. I'm gonna more focus this on the warmer months because it's a little bit more humid where I live in Southern California and I think it holds up and it wears really well with that. Now moving on to number two, you might have seen my video last week where I talked about this foundation for my new winter skin regimen thing, but in case you missed it, I will link it down in the description box. This is the foundation that I have been using pretty much nonstop for over a month now with the certain combination that just works like a dream. In fact, I'm wearing the whole face base today of that whole routine that I did and it just, it just looks so much healthier on my skin. This one I notice isn't as great during the winter when I'm feeling really dry and flaky. This one, which is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care has been a dream. I feel like my skin looks glowy, it looks healthy, it just looks really nice, and I love the versatility of this foundation. So there's a couple reasons why this one's making it on my top five list, and that's because of the versatility. If I want to wear it on a day where I don't really wanna do much makeup. I can just pump a little bit on my hands, rub it in and put it on my face and it kinda of evens out my skin tone and texture a little bit, but it's really not full coverage in that sense. It just looks nice. It just, my skin just looks healthier. It looks like your skin, but better. <laughs> so I see why they named it that. But not only can I use it that way, I can also use it in this way that gives off this more full coverage type of appearance, depending on the different concealers that I pair it with and primers and all of that. And I love how adjustable it is and just really nice looking it is on my skin. So that is a favorite of this year that launched this year. I, I didn't know it was gonna be a favorite when I first started trying it. If you remember, I reviewed it originally and I had to try to get it to make it work with my skin. But once I figured out a couple different little tweaks, Oh my goodness, I love it. So 
yeah, love this It Cosmetics one. <laughs> really came out of nowhere for me and I fell in love with it. What can I say? Now this same, it's kind of the same story with the primer and I love pairing this primer, not only with that foundation, It Cosmetics, but pretty much any of them. And I slept on this primer for a while, let me tell you. Good Molecules actually sent me this silicone-free priming moisturizer a while ago. I wanna say it was the beginning of summer and I kinda didn't use it because I did a pump of it and I was like, oh, that's nice, but I have a face moisturizer. But I didn't look at the title enough to realize it was a priming moisturizer, priming, heavy on the primer. And I think I saw somebody doing a story about it or like using it and talking about how they loved it a few months ago. And I was like, I should probably try that as an actual primer instead of just a face lotion. Well, then I eventually got around to it and oh my goodness, I love it. It is super hydrating facial primer. So if you're looking for a primer and you just aren't getting enough oomph from the basic hydrating type of primers, this one, it feels really nice because it feels like a lotion but also has a slip like a primer would, even though it's silicone free, it has just a really good balance and it sticks to my skin beautifully. And then when you put the foundation or concealer on top, it sticks really nicely. And overall, it just gives a nice appearance to my skin. And I, I can't believe I didn't use it for so long. I was kind of wanting to kick myself for not grabbing this sooner because once I started using it, I was like, oh. I love that, which is no surprise. There's a couple of skincare products that I love from them too. So I'm really happy that I started using this. And if you ever get the chance to try it, try it out. They are a more affordable brand. They're kind of akin to how The Ordinary is, where it's like minimal ingredients. That's how the Good Molecules brand is, which is really cool. And you can get them at Beautylish and all of that. When I need a good loose setting powder, specifically in like the spring and summer months especially, but even in the winter, this one works great. When I need a good setting powder, this is the one that I use. It is my top tier, number one favorite. It is from the drugstore. It is only around like five, six bucks. And if you watch me, you know what it is. Say it with me, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Oh, I love this setting powder. It's so good. So it's called the Halo Glow Setting Powder, but there's no little fine shimmer flecks that I can see in it. It just, I don't know what kind of magic they do, but if you have dry skin and you want a loose setting powder, try this one out. It comes in a few different shades too, which is awesome. And I picked mine up at Target. You could also pick it up on the e.l.f. site and Ulta and all that. It is such a good setting powder. I actually like to apply it with my Tati Blendiful. I don't even know if you can buy those anymore. Um, I think it works really nice, but a brush works really well too. And it just sets really nicely. It kind of makes my pores disappear a little bit and it just sets everything real nice. And overall, thank you, Elf. Thank you for blessing us with these because it's a top-notch product and I'm actually almost out. So you will be seeing this in an empties video soon and you bet your sweet Bippy, I will repurchase this, hands down. Speaking of repurchases, this is a second repurchase for me and I really like this powder. It is another It Cosmetics product and it is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. It, I just don't like the matte packaging with a powder because this happens, but trust me, it's, it is a beautiful, beautiful powder. It, I really feel like it makes my pores go bye-bye. It smooths it out, it evens it out. It is what I use today for this video. I used a brightening powder too underneath my eyes. It's a different one, but I can use it all over and it looks really, really nice. I can use this one throughout the entire year, but I particularly have been liking it during these winter dry months because it just adds a little bit of powder. And with this foundation in particular, I don't feel like you need much to set it because it kind of dries down a little bit. So this is just enough to set and forget. I love that. I love those. Those are the base products that I like. And again, like I mentioned yesterday, my day number one, these aren't the only favorites that I have. I just wanted to like narrow things down to five favorites that I really wanted to share with you because I could go on and on and on for different reasons because certain products work well for this and that and this and that. But these are the five that I'm going to grab. You know, if I need a setting powder, I'm gonna grab one of these. If I'm gonna need a foundation, I'm gonna see what the weather is outside and I'm gonna grab one of these. And that is the story of that. But let me know down in the comments below, what are some of your favorite face products of this year? Am I missing out? Is there something that I need to try that is your holy grail, something that you fell in love with either this year or carried on from the last? Cause I want to know, give me the tea, what's up? But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching day number two. and. 
make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on day number three. And since you're still watching, I'll let you know what tomorrow's day is. Tomorrow is a continuation of face products, but specifically blushes, bronzers, and then also some lippies. We have a lot to talk about when it comes to blushes and bronzers because last year I didn't have any favorites and this year, I do. I put my mind to it and I found some freaking favorites and that might be one of the videos that I'm most excited about because if you aren't using these and you are stuck with blushes and bronzers and you need a favorite, you might want to take a look. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope that every single one of you have a great freaking awesome day, okay? I know the holidays are here. It's a little crazy, so take some time for yourself and, you know, have a little morning coffee moment. Have a little special time. Just, and enjoy. Try to enjoy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!